These Chilean students that you're seeing in the images, they are fighting for a better country. And I think that as my generation, the previous generation, we had to fight for democracy and go and protest in the streets just like them to have democracy again. Now they're showing us, you know, in a mirror, that we need to make this new transition from, you know, a country that is doing, doing good, that a country that needs to be great. First of all, 132 became much more than a student movement. It became about everybody speaking out their voices and basically wanting to take, once again, our, our, this creation of symbols into our own hands. It also became about how you hack a system that has been an, like, such a present monopoly in Mexico for so long. For me, that stuck about how the body can be such an instrument of protest and how it can, it can raise such national outrage People who were so used to being silenced suddenly couldn't keep quiet anymore at such a national level. So I think it's, it's a responsibility of the international community to continue to engage, and I think that's important. And, uh, and, and look at, uh, as, as we would say, creative ways of engagement to, to, to continue the discussion and not to ever close it.